Welcome to 7 Days to Die Biome Locked, Burnt Forest Edition. One of four separate mini-series where I lock myself to a specific biome to progress and fight hordes with the end goal of surviving a horde on insane difficulty. I cannot leave the selected biome and loot does not respawn. Just me, myself, and a fool's dream. Hope you enjoy. Don't let the zombies bite. Hey everybody, it's Manly Damage 15 here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. And welcome to episode 3 of 7 Days to Die Biome Locked. Click the link above to watch the last video if you missed it. Alright guys, so overnight we went ahead and made a workbench, which we just plopped down over here. So we now have that to be able to craft and make some good items. We crafted up a baseball bat, so we have a good upgrade there. Uh, we cooked up some food. We're sitting pretty. We're almost at 100% food. Uh, what are we at? 102 out of 116, so we're pretty close. We made an extra chest here that I popped all of like my food and health items just to kind of keep that separate, which frees up some space for these ones. These are... The sell items that I'm going to take with me, we're going to go to the trader real quick and we're going to grab a job. I have two jobs to do today, so let's go ahead and get right into that and I will bring you back when we get to Jen. Hey Jen, how's it going? Good job. I knew you could do it. Let's see. Honestly, I didn't realize I still have the job. <laughs> it didn't say it here. Uh, oh no, this is for the challenge group. This is advanced survival. I forgot I finished that as well. Uh, Wasteland Treasures. Okay, so this is, uh, for getting honey out of regular trees. I think that's better than anything else here, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. Alright, job. So I got a fetch yourself. at the oh, well. Amagon. Someone who's fetch at Prowl and Pete's. Clear zombies at Hurry on. Harry's. Amp deuce in half. And a bear's supplies. I don't want to do if this one. Where is this one at? This one's uh, at the I north. To give you a job. You can always quit a Go ahead and do that one. Camp deuce and half. Kind of sounds kind of cool. Go ahead and sell all of these as well. I just knew you'd find and we'll read that. you. Alright, we're up to 2400 coin. She restocks on day 7. Which means, Aww, did she restock? No, she restocked there? yesterday. That's what it was. Jet, stim packs, and now uh, is there anything else that I want? Yeah, we have a decent stuff. amount of money, so I feel like we could buy something if we really needed to. Uh, tools digest. The bellows would be nice. I just don't know if I need it right away. I feel like I probably should just hold on to my money. Until there's, we get something that's, like, really useful. Aww, yeah, we're gonna hold on to the money. Sorry, Jen. A while. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get over to this job. It looks like this job is also going to be out in that direction. We did a job, like, way up there. This one's probably also gonna be... Actually, is it on the... It's probably on the other side of this mountain, actually. But anyways, we'll do this job, and then we have one more job to do, and that will get us the bicycle. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time getting, uh, what's it called? Getting our horde base ready. So we decided to go with the, uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but it is the building that's pretty much right next to Jen. We decided to go with that, and I have some some ideas that I want to implement, so... We'll probably get into that morning of day six. But anyways, I'll meet you guys when we get to this quest location. All right, guys. So here it is. It is literally on the border of the burnt biome. We're almost to the desert. We actually got the challenge for enter the desert. Okay, I don't think that counts. I didn't step outside of this biome. It's right over there, but I didn't step outside. This is still burnt biome, and I didn't even step over there. That's desert right there. I stepped this way. See, it's telling me I'm in the desert right now. So, I'm not counting that. The series is still going, guys. <laughs> that was kind of messed up. <laughs> All right. See, so yeah, so I think even this like entrance pretty much is almost in the desert. 
though. Anyways, we are still in the burnt biome. We did not head over into the desert. What is up, my friend? Oh, missed. Look at that. That is going to be nice to be able to use this in the POI. Go ahead and get this started. I have never seen this POI before. Uh, this is just collecting, like, trash on the, on the way here. That's the stuff I got. Um, I know, I think these give me iron? Yeah, it does. Welcome a few people with that. Quite a few people, actually. Can I hit some shins? All right, you're just gonna break through that. Yeah, it looks like I can't hit you. <laughs> All right, everybody's waking up now. What's up, friend? You guys are breaking through here. You guys are gonna take forever to do that. There we go. All right, lumberjack. Oh, thank you for the blue bag. Appreciate it. What's up, Vincent man? All right, what do we got in here? Okay, a couple medical journals. Uh, that's Fort Bites. Some southern farming. We got some food there. Uh, that is the same quality as the one we have, right? Yeah. A little bit better technically in uh, durability, so we'll just scrap that. Okay, let's go ahead and grab you. I think that is everything. I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish getting this and all of this stone. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get in here now, officially. We do have a dog house. Looks like we got a Bernie in here. You are still alive. And that's the kill. I don't think he's seen me yet. <laughs> there we go. That was crazy. I think his arm got blown off. It kind of flew up. Um, Is there anything over here, actually? I'm trying to see if I can spot the dog. He's right there. Nice. Hopefully he's the only one. Oh, that was a fail. A bunch of trash all around here. Kind of like the it reminds me of the hoarder house. Okay, someone woke up. Oh, there we go. There we go. Like the rest of it is just on the other side of there. Grab this ammo pile uh, for some steel, steel spear parts apparently. Is everybody inside this RV here? <laughs> apparently. Just you girl. Kind of quick, aren't you? Not quick enough. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and search everything here. Okay, I think that's everything. Did I get that one? I don't know if I got the one for getting leather from chairs specifically. I don't think I've done that yet. We can go back to that diner and get the rest of those as well. Uh, where is the loot? Oh, is this it? This is it. 
with the dog. Oh, guess we'll just harvest everything else up here. Might as well early game get all this. It's good loot. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, serrated blade mod. We've got a can of peas. Uh, tier 5 pipe rifle. Nice. Do I have the serrated one in here already? Uh, which one's that one? That's the tempered blade mod. Uh, I still can't put you in. Uh, let's real quick go ahead and read you. Read. Eat you. And then we'll read both of these tactical warfares. That's pipe machine gun quality 3. Go ahead and swap you out real quick. And then modify you to take the bullet out there. Alright, there we go. Um, I do want the serrated one to go in here. Because the temper blade is just for lowers degradation by 15. Increases block damage, actually. This is the one that is more chance to bleed. I guess it doesn't really matter which one then, because the the knife uh, makes it bleed no matter what. Okay, um, and I can't put you on there, can I? Okay, that's okay. Can I put it on you? No, can't put it on anything, so I guess we'll hold on to it for right now. Um, yeah, I think that's everything here. Cool. I don't think that there was anything else here to loot. We'll check behind here real quick, just to double check. Got some mushrooms there. Uh, yep, yeah, nope, that's everything. Cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn this job into Jen. I will meet you guys in a second. What's up, piggy, piggy, piggy? Alright, some bacon. I will take it. Okay, cool, you're gone. 30 meat, that's actually really good. Alright, Jen, what are you going to give us for this job? Well, that was fast. Let's see, Let's it was really fast, actually. Cobblestone, forge ahead. Um, I would take the forge ahead, it's only one, though, and I want the cobblestone rocks over that, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and take you. Okay, so that's the oh, job there. Is there anything? The Actually, yeah, I can sell this to you. And the cash. Um, and the... Oh, no, that's steel club. Never mind. I thought it was baton for a second. Sell the brass that I can. We'll sell the steel spear parts. Don't need you. Uh, what are we up to now? Over 3,000 well, coin. Nice. That day. is pretty good. I'm glad I could help you. Let's go ahead and look at your jobs you again. Look like you can handle yourself. Oh well, check back. We always need someone. You know, Hurry Harry's. You can... This is the best way to get dukes. Money doesn't grow on. Um, you know. I want to do the Amagon oh, actually. Thank goodness. I know it's I just a fetch. So it's not going to give us as much money, but Amazon, Amagon, Amagon, can't even speak. Amagon seems like an easy clear. All right, guys, we dumped loot. We just made it here to the Amigon. Go ahead and kill you real quick. I hate when they do that little spin move. It's crazy. It doesn't even make sense as far as, like, physics. Like, if I smack you with a bat, you're not gonna, like, spin and lunge forward. You're gonna go backwards. <laughs> All right, nice. A uh, repair kit that might come in handy if one of our net weapons needs repairing. Um, ooh, is that the bandolier mod? A uh, bandolier mod schematic, nice. That teaches us to be able to make that. Not that we're going to be making it anytime soon. I think almost everything you need steel to be able to make. Alright, let's go ahead and restart this. I wonder, is that going to... Ooh, I don't want to risk it, actually. It's probably not, anyways. Don't want to risk, um, like, failing the quest. Alright, nothing really crazy out of any of those. Was hoping to get a book for the cars, whatever that's called. I already can't from, can't remember. <laughs> okay, some duct tape is pretty good. Alright, nice. Uh, do I have a skill point, actually? 
I have two skill points. Okay, sweet. So, I have been going into strength, obviously. I need two points to go level six strength, and then I need level seven in order to put Pummel Pete up another level. Let's see. What else could I go into? I've been going into agility. That was the other thing. Okay, actually, we're going to put two points into agility. That's going to get me agility four, and then I just need two points, and I can already go into parkour two, which will allow me to be able to jump higher. So, I think that was pretty good. Okay, woke up someone. Hi. Uh, there's someone outside, isn't there? Yeah, it's you. What's up, Bernie? Alrighty. Okay. It's a very small toilet. Go ahead and get you up. See if we can sneak in on anybody in here. Anybody behind the desk? Nope. Pick you up. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll pick up the chairs. Uh, we've already read that one. Let's scrap you. Scrap. Scrap. Need all the resources I can get. Alright, who's in here? No one around the corners? don't see anybody. Oh, actually, I see some legs over there. Alrighty. What is up, my friend? See if I can get this headshot here. Oh, that was weird. My cursor went down. There we go. Alright. Job is upstairs, I think. The wind just kind of stopped. That was kind of crazy. Hey, girl. Can I have my arrow back? Thank you, thank you. You as well, my friend. It's a random purse on, like, this, like, altar thing. That's crazy. They're facing public property. One of my specialties, guys. Pick these guys up. Uh, are we going that way? I hear someone sleeping. Someone woke up, actually. You did not make any noise, dude. That was crazy. Is that from outside, or is that in here? That's somewhere. <laughs> Alright, large chemistry set. Mortician's drawer. Just a bunch of junk. Yeah, I think those are probably from the POI. Is that this door? Oh, hi. You fall from somewhere? I have no idea where he came from. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Anyways, we'll close that behind us. Let's get in here. What's up, friend? There you go. Get these dead bodies. Might as well. Good for some nitrate, some bones. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. The arrow just missed him. That's where we were at. We're going up to the roof. See some feet. Is that a bird? Let's go this way. Let's see if we can see the head. I think it's a zombie. Uh, Actually, I think it's just a dead body. 
Yep. Oh man, I already know the floor is gonna break on all this. Uh, what's up, Lumberjack? Woke everybody up. Oh man, you went flying. I don't trust any of this floor. We're just gonna see if there's anything here. The job's here, nice. Alright, cool. Let's continue on. I think that was probably it, actually. Yeah, we woke up everybody else that was here. Sweet. Yeah, like I said, I, I had a feeling that was going to be an easier one, so. Just wanted to get that done. And now we have completed all of the tier 1 jobs that we need. I uh, got another big hitters. There we go. But yeah, we'll be able to get the bike now. We got a strength mod there. Nice. Some sham chowder. This is an upgrade to our bone knife. Um, I need inventory space. Let's go ahead and modify you. Take this out. And we will modify you. Scrap you. I don't need the paper. We can take that and then pop you in the top. Modify. I already need to get rid of something else. I'll scrap the two feathers there. Put you in, and then we'll just put you on something else real quick. Cool. That was everything there. Let's go ahead and get back to Jen. Alrighty, Jen. Congrats. You're back. What can I get Let's for you? Let's see. Nine hundred. Nine would actually not be bad, but the Shamway secret recipe Pretty good to get early on. Let's go ahead and take that and Then now we unlocked everything here including the bicycle and that is what we are taking. She actually does have a buried supplies a Was that said that that's a northwest? It's actually southwest so It would be kind of towards the city, but it's like I would love mm. to give you a job. Thanks. Huh? Let's just take it. Why not? I knew you wouldn't let me down it's not too far, and it's just a buried treasure, and it'll give us some money and some loot. Although, usually the loot is not very good. But we can just do it real quick. But guys, we have a bicycle. Let's go. Day 5. Not terrible. Not the best, but not terrible. Let's go ahead and read that. And then we will put you down. Let's go, guys. And look at that. It's already blue for us. How did she know? She put a blue dye in there for us. Let's go. Thank you, Jen. Alrighty, let's actually just do this right now. I kind of actually, let me see what tiers both of these are. Uh, there's a doghouse there. Scarecrow field, that is a tier 3. Oh, is that all part of this? It's all the same thing. Uh, It probably is, isn't it? Yeah, I think, the, I think it's just a barn connected to it. All right, I thought it was two different POIs. That's okay. I am not ready for a tier three, so <laughs> definitely not going to be doing that. All right, here is the job. Okay, let's bring our shovel down. And let's go ahead and start this buried supplies real quick. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Didn't take too long. All right, we got seed crafting. We got some food. We actually were hurting for food, so it's a good thing we got that. Go ahead and eat both of those. Take this, and let's get out of the hole. Found a few people. No runners. Thank goodness. I mean, it's a tier one, so I wouldn't expect any, but we are in the burnt biome, so it is a little bit more than just the forest. Oh, and you as well. Uh, we did get a level up just a second ago because we actually um, spawned, or not spawned, but we had someone spawn 
not spawn. I keep saying spawn. We had someone find us when we were digging. So I killed that zombie real quick. So we do have one skill point, but let's go ahead and turn this into general quick. It's not too bad. We got three jobs done today, essentially. So that's not terrible at all. I mean, day five getting the bike isn't the best, but we didn't, we did a lot of like clears and fetches. We didn't really do a lot of the buried supplies quests, which are like the really fast ones. So I, I don't feel bad about getting the, the bike a little bit later. Alrighty. Oh, aren't you? Good job. I knew you could do it. So let's see. A bunch of schematics here. Shotgun shells and a blueberry pie. Again, I don't think I'm going to be making mods for a while. So maybe the shotgun shells. If we can get our hands on a good shotgun, this would definitely be worth it. Okay, I think that's going to be it that I'm going to do for right now. And one thing that I actually... Did I do it already? I didn't. I'm going to put a point into Boomstick. Now, you might be asking... Oops. You might be asking, why are you doing that, Melee? Like, you don't even have a shotgun. True. But putting points into that helps us find shotgun books. So as soon as we get our hands on a double barrel shotgun, I will go ahead and make that. I just... It's the pipe shotgun that I don't see a big point in. It's just not good at all. <laughs> I mean, I know it can save you, but... I'd rather just save it and then, oh, we got a snake there and we got a mailbox. Yeah, I'd rather just like save it and then like not worry about it being in my inventory and then just getting the, the double barrel later on. All right, that is reduced chance to be lit on fire by 25%. Nice. All right, kind of just want to check. I don't know if I've been down this way, to be honest. Uh, nope, I haven't, because there is a mailbox here that I haven't searched. Okay, I already have that. Let's just check. Okay, Red Church is a tier 3. What are you? This looks like a tier 1. Oh, Johnny Town's tier 3. Okay, that's Johnny Town. I didn't recognize it, actually. I've done Johnny Town before. Oh, yeah, there's, the, there's that back part where you start, and then you go up through the top. Okay, nice. I didn't recognize it. Um, okay, we got some stuff here. Have I searched this already? I have not. Should be a zombie on the other side of it. Nice, a lot of good medical supplies, actually. Okay, grab this. Grab you. Uh, let's just kill you, why not? Okay, let's read you. Yeah, we got a first aid kit. Two steroids. Nice. Okay, we do have this post office here. Is this really a tier 3? I thought it was a tier 2 at the very most. Um, actually, no. Was that this that I was? Antique saloon? Or junk fill saloon? Oh, this is the whole thing. Okay. Again, it's... Really? It's this and the... Po I'm pretty sure the post office is, is its own thing. Oh, but it, it does look saloon style, so I guess it's not. This is all one big POI. Crazy, man. I mean, I guess once we get to tier 3s, we can go ahead and try this out. Definitely don't want to try it out now. Alright, we got this mailbox here. Uh, we got a rifle world there. Nice. Pipe rifle quality 2. Uh, what is that? Is that a savage country? I think that is, right? Yep, tier 3. Here's the problem, Pete. I think this is a tier 1, actually. I think we were getting the jobs for this. And there's a poppin' pills. Problem, Pete. It is a tier 1. Well, we're out of tier 1. Like, we're not doing jobs for tier 1s anymore. Um, starting tomorrow, Jen should have tier 2 jobs. This might just be a good POI to just raid. Okay. He did a quick attack. I mean, do we have enough time to do it now? We have... Uh, we only have like an hour and a half. And I'm actually pretty full. I know I can put stuff in there like that, but... I mean, we can try to start clearing it. Get out of here. 
Don't want to back myself in a corner. There we go. Big boy's down. Alrighty, any coffee? Nope. Never lucky. Alright, actually, all of this is... Ah, uh, plastic parts. Sometimes these ones are cloth. It kind of looks like the ones that could be cloth. Let's actually just go ahead and get these real quick. Might as well get the job. Or the... I keep saying the job, the challenge. Was that really not the challenge? How far away am I? Or have I gotten it already? I've gotten it already. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, uh, place the workbench there. Complete a quest here. Nice, that's another one. Uh, gather clay. <laughs> this is so dumb. You know what? I am just not going to accept that one. To not give me any extra. I know it's only 2k, but not, to not give me any extra, I'm just not going to accept that one. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I don't think that that was getting, go, like, go, actually going into the desert. Like, I'm, I'm not going to count it. I'm not going to, like, restart the series because of that. Because that definitely, that definitely was not my fault. Like, I was not even in the actual desert, and it countered it. So, that's not my fault. That's the game and the radius being, like, too wide. But you guys tell me if you want me to be able to accept it for the XP or not. I'll leave that guy. I'll leave that up to you guys. All right. It was a good thing to come here. Oh, there's grilled meat. Okay, yeah, so it was really good to come here. I was actually getting really, really low on food. I'm glad that I got that because I really needed that. Uh, that's locked, so I guess we're going out that other way. Um, it's almost time for running zombies, though. And I am not really the level to go ahead and do that and take care of that. And this has a little bit more, so we're going to leave that other part. Did I wake someone up? Is that from outside or is that here? That's here. Right, we'll just kill you real quick. Okay, but well, we're gonna leave the rest of that for another day. Tomorrow I wanna spend a good amount of time on the base though, so I don't know if I will do any jobs tomorrow. We'll see. Maybe maybe I'll have enough time to do a job. But I definitely want to spend a lot of time working on the base and just making sure that it is good to go for day seven. All right, we are nearby this one. I don't remember if there's anything else in here. There's a few things. All right, when we get home, I can take that one off the map now because I don't have anything else in it. But I want to confuse myself. Uh, but I'll see you guys when we get home. All right. All right, guys, so I am home now. I just put away everything. I think I'm going to take a little bit of meat out and go ahead and cook some up because I have unlocked grilled meat now. Still unlock bacon and eggs. That comes with 10 books. Grilled meat was 6, I believe. So let's go ahead and pop a few into there. Um, I can cook 15, which will take 11 minutes. Uh, there we go. That should be enough. Let's go ahead and cook all of that. And we'll pop everything else back in there. That should keep me going for a little while. I have some water too, but I could probably stand to make some more water. If not tonight, then definitely tomorrow because I'm going to need it. But I think that's going to be pretty much it that I do overnight, guys. I might start looking through some of my um, like inventory and see what I have. I don't want to call anybody, like any screamers or anything like that. So I probably won't do anything with the forge. But we can take out, have a little bit of iron that we can put in there just so that we can get that ready. Uh, but yeah, other than that, guys, I'm just going to be hiding in this corner. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next morning, so we went ahead and made all that food. I went ahead and put it away already, but we're sitting pretty good. We got 11 grilled meat still, uh, three more waters that are um, already purified, and then 10 murky waters. So we've got plenty of food and water right now, which is good. And then we have a few of the extra like foods that I'm kind of saving for right now. But I am taking some cobblestone rocks with me. We probably need to get more wood and... We have the stone and the clay soil to go ahead and make more cobblestone. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and make 
like half of them into cobblestone blocks just so we have them ready but i want to keep some of this cobblestone to just upgrade as needed let's go ahead and hop out here there was a decent amount of sounds overnight i was hearing zombies kind of all around so I don't see anybody they might have despawned go ahead and grab we got two waters here and these are good to go actually Going to take both of you. I only got one set of seeds. Go ahead. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this before I forget. And we'll just keep this farm going. All right, and then we'll plant this other one here. And then actually, before I forget, let's go ahead and take the X off the map. Uh, This loot one right there. There we go. I mean, we're opening up a good portion of the map there. There's the desert and there's the forest biome that we were in earlier. But yeah, things are looking good, guys. Let's go ahead and get on over. We have our bike here. We're actually, you know what? Let's go to Gen. Let's grab a tier two. Thought I heard a zombie. Let's grab a tier two job just so we have it. And then we can always complete it later if we want to. That way we don't have to make our way back over here because I'm assuming it's probably going to be in the city. Hello, traveler. What's ailing you? Eh, nothing much. All right, so she got a restored power. We got a fetch and clear at O'Reilly Auto. I've done that one before. To give you a job. We got the McMillan residence. Uh, we have an infested. Problem. I don't think I'm Money ready for an infested just yet. And the shady swine. Uh, let's do O'Reilly Auto. And then she doesn't. Take your time yeah, she restocks on day seven, so not quite yet. Looking, let's go ahead and get on cool. over to our horde base. Alright guys, here we are at Buddy's Grain. I did not realize that the O'Reilly was literally right here. <laughs> it's right next door. We just got everything right next door. It's super nice. Alright, let's go ahead and I uh, guess we can clean up some of this. I'm probably going to have to get rid of everything down here just to make sure that the zombies don't get caught up on anything. Oh, we got a snake somewhere. Oh, there it is. What's up, buddy? There we go. More meat in the morning. I'll take it. Now, these ones, can you... Okay, you can't, but if you hit them, they don't break, right? Okay, thank goodness. Alright guys, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and clear out this bottom level and I'll bring you guys back when I'm finished with that. Ooh, we just got a couple screamers spawned now that we were cleaning out this area. Okay, she kind of screamed. Uh, we did get some spawns. Dang it. Okay. I don't see anybody running just yet. Let's go ahead and clean everybody up real quick. Got Mo back here. Yeah, I guess with wrenching everything up and everything that I was doing generated enough heat to spawn some screamers. I mean, I guess we did have our campfire going on overnight, so... I guess it dis didn't dissipate fast enough. Okay, I mean, not too bad. It looks like only one scream came through. So we just got a few spawns, nothing too crazy. But see, look, they're already beating on things, and that's why I was trying to clean things up, because I don't want the zombies getting stuck on anything or hung up on anything during the horde night. Sit down, Arlene. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't ready to show a clip yet, but uh, heard that scream and I was just like, man, okay, what's going on here? All right, we cleaned up a little bit of the outside as well, like kind of this front yard area. Here's someone else beating on something. 
All right, at least I th thought I heard someone beating on something, but apparently not. Anyways, we cleaned out a little bit of the front. I'll probably continue to work on cleaning everything out that doesn't really need to be there. We cleaned out the bottom part pretty nicely. I'm going to leave this light for now. It might get destroyed, so I don't really care if it gets destroyed. It's fine. And then the conveyor belt, I'm thinking about getting rid of this, actually. Just, just because it's kind of blocking this entrance. So if the zombies are coming from that side, I want them to be able to have a way to get up. Everything else, though, they pretty much have full access to. This is unlocked, actually. What are you looking like right now? It goes down really slowly. It's uh, almost broken. <laughs> uh, and we have a few doors and everything like that. So, I mean, I was kind of thinking, like, maybe there's a way to, like, kind of funnel the zombies. But on all these things are 1,000. Uh, if I go... Okay, that does go to cobblestone. We could upgrade it to cobblestone, but I don't know. I just don't really see the point of actually upgrading the outside of the base. Because I don't think that they're really going to be... Oh, well, I guess they, they very well could tear it down, but... They're going to be focusing on the ladders, though. And the ladders are, aren't are hung up by the building itself, I don't think. I don't know. I just feel like we'll, we'll probably be fine. I'm going to probably upgrade. Can I upgrade these? Ooh, I cannot upgrade these. And they take forged iron. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. That's actually a good thing to know. That I can't upgrade any of this. And that all, I think all of this is forged iron. That's actually not a good thing. It might actually be worth it to just put in my own stairs then. So I really like this, how it loops around because it'll funnel the zombies. They'll take a while to get up to this point right here. Oop, and... Okay, good. I didn't break my legs. <laughs> Thank goodness. Ooh, what's down there? Alright, we got rid of that. I knocked that out as well. That kind of fell out. Did you just fall through? No? Oh, that's 10,000. Jeez. Is there actually anything down there? I mean, there's a light down there. That's interesting. Um, am I going to break my leg? Can I just, like, run out of this? There we go. Oh, it's just this. Okay, yeah, it's just this right here. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's nothing special. I thought, I was like, what is going on down here? Anyways, yeah, I'm, I might have to figure something else out. Because if the zombies start beating on things, they're going to start beating on these. And that's definitely not a good thing. But it's going to take me forever ever to break all these down so i think definitely for the first horde i don't think i'm gonna worry about it i think that they'll be okay maybe we can create another ladder like right next to it or something just in case that's probably what i'll do and then everything else i think is just gonna stay the same and then like i said i need to create a way for dogs to get up anyways because we're already what are we at right now we're at game stage 52 so we're definitely gonna have dogs um already and then, for as far as vultures, because we'll have vultures as well, I might just have to put something up top, because we're going to be inside here. I'm definitely going to have to cover this up, because, I mean, it could be, I mean, it could be a way, good way to drop the zombies, I guess, if we're over here. We could create something on this side, and knock the zombies down. That might be something interesting. And uh, DP Donkey Punch was even um, telling me that I should do something with doors, like kind of like hatches in a way, like like double door frame or anything like that, to be able to shut off the zombies from one side. I just don't really know how I want to do that. But I wonder if creating something over here would be... That would be interesting, actually, because then I can make the zombies fall from here. I might just leave that open just because and then I mean I don't think that they're gonna have a problem but they could but now they have a way to just jump out but then they might start beating I don't know I don't know guys <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and figure out a way to make a bridge from here to there All right, guys, I am back here. I had to take a really long detour. We uh, fell from up there. I didn't realize the middle one would give way, and it did. And then we fell and broke our leg. So we currently, we went home. We made a splint. We put that on. I went and searched the vending machine by us and then by Jen to see if there were any of the, the health ones, whatever they're called, health candy 
because those ones actually help with um, critical injuries. Um, I think it's like six minutes of like two times healing. So that would have helped a lot, but neither us nor Jen had it. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to continue on this and working on this for a little bit. I'll bring you guys back in a bit. All right, guys, I'm working on it again, and it seems like I got a wandering horde. I don't see anybody on that side, but there was a ton of zombies out this side. Hopefully no runners. Because I cannot run myself. Nice, she went flying. What's up, Nurse Nancy? Alright, two bags, let's go. Okay, I think everybody else went out that way. Hopefully they didn't go into my house. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what we got here. Okay, a retracting stock mod schematic. Nice. Some shotgun ammo. I'll take it. Um, And let's a sledgehammer one. <laughs> we unlocked the iron sledgehammer now. I think we have 11 sledgehammer books and 12 um, like bat books, uh, club books. It's like going pretty evenly. Um, our broken leg is not, like, getting really any better because I keep falling. Or not falling, but I keep, like, making, like, little, like, jumps and, like, things like that. But this is what we have so far, guys. Um, I was working on trying to break this section up here. I'll show you guys when I get up here. Uh, yeah, but right here, I was working on trying to break one of these sides, and I didn't realize I was breaking the block I was under me, so I fell again to the second level. But this is what I have so far, so this is going to be the, the part that the zombies are going to fall. So they're going to have to run around here. I hope they see this as a way to get to me. I don't know, I almost feel like I should just create a path, and then they might fall. And you know what, let's, let's do that. Let's grab this block here, and let's do the same thing here that we have right here across um what's the next level right there um can the zombies okay they can actually they can walk straight across it okay i mean that should if that doesn't then they should still see the way around as a way to get to me and then, so I am going to go ahead and, like, cage that off with some scaffolding and everything. I attached it to the sides just to give a little bit more stability in the back there. And then, so we'll go ahead and wall that off. And then this will be kind of like our, you know, our point of entry. And then what I want to do is I want to create a ladder on the back side there. So I'm going to, I will get in from, I guess, the front of the POI, essentially. And they can run through any of the sides to be able to get to me from there. That way, there's not really a way for them to get to me. Um, but before I do that, I actually got my, my second skill point. So I can go ahead and put both of these into parkour. The tumbler and stuntman. So that makes it so that it reduces my stamina cost of jumping by 10%. We increase our safe fall distance by one more. And then this one increases by 2 meters, actually. We could jump 1 meter higher and stamina cost by jumping is reduced by 20%. So not too bad. We got a good start. Honestly, like I said before, like we really don't need to do a whole ton to the base before the first horde. It's the other hordes that we're going to need to worry about that I might have to make some adjustments because I kind of want to use this for at least the first two hordes and then maybe we'll switch it up after that. I don't know. Just kind of depends. Depends on uh, how much damage they do to the, to the base coming up. But I think the next thing I need to do, guys, is working on making a ladder. I wanted to do it to that part there because that part's easy to break. But I might have to do it here because I don't really want it in front of this. Like the ladder I'm talking about. And then I guess we could just do it out of the cobblestone. Uh, so ladder square. And then I should be able to do it... Just like this. I don't think I need to put it there. I think I could put it there. Because with my level of... Uh, it's going to stick out, isn't it? Because of 
that block right there. Alright everyone, this is what I have so far. I'm getting ready to head back home because it is almost 10 o'clock. We have a little bit of a fighting se section here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around this other side and then we'll create a way for zombies to get pushed off. Just kind of that slant block. So that, that, that way if zombies pile up, they will just fall down. And then I'll probably try to enclose this as much as I can. Just in case, you know, in case like old vulture comes through there we probably will just put try to put spikes up maybe we'll try to get to the roof and put some spikes up top there but other than that guys i think it's looking pretty good i did have to take off the uh chains that were on this side because they were getting in the way of putting these scaffolding ladders so it's not as uh immersive but i still think it looks pretty good and everything else is there this is fully functioning essentially and then we have our way out we kind of do have to crouch uh, but we do have a way in and out so fully functioning guys i i honestly i like it so hopefully you guys do too let's go ahead and get back home i'm hoping that i don't call another screamer Ooh, okay guys so it looks like someone did beat on this and got through oh they completely beat through my base that is crazy uh, okay i think everybody else Went out that way. Hopefully they didn't go into my house. <laughs> okay, we're going to seal this up immediately. Why did they... I don't know why they did, though. Let's go ahead and... Make sure this is all good. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing in place of lock there. That's crazy because I was over there and there was nothing on over here. So there's no reason for them to break through it like that. Okay, they didn't break any of my stuff, thankfully. Everything looks like it's still here. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of crazy, guys. Um, my guy is super hungry, though. So we're going to go ahead and eat a bunch of food. I'm kind of debating if I should even... Like, cook up some water tonight, because I feel like I'm going to spawn another Screamer. We'll see. I might just end up eating this uh, Sham Chowder that has a little bit of water in it. Uh, we can put this in there. That's health as well. We'll put you in there. Alright, and then we'll throw you in there. We have some iron, so that's all good now. All right, everything can go there. And then these blocks can stay here. Because we're going to need them tomorrow anyways. And we'll go ahead and throw all of these corn seeds there. Keep you for right there. For right now there. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'll just repair a few of these items there. So next episode guys is going to be the horde so sorry day six really wasn't a whole ton but i just want to make sure that everything was good and we had the setback with falling and that really just made us slow for the rest of the day but yeah so i think so what we're going to do next episode guys is going to be day seven day eight so day seven i'm probably not going to show a whole ton just because i'm going to show the the horde so i'll probably just clean up the base um if i do any looting maybe i'll show a little bit of that because i might, might have time to do looting i'm probably not gonna go ahead and do i was thinking about doing the job tomorrow but i'm just gonna ultimately just focus on making sure that that is ready to go and i mean we might have enough time to go ahead and do it so we'll see I'm, i might i might do the job tomorrow morning and then once the horde comes around obviously i'm going to show you guys the horde and then after that um day eight we'll go ahead and just continue on and like i said after the first horde day eight and everything that is still going to keep the same difficulty it's going to be after the day 14 horde that we're going to bump up to warrior and then from then on every single week that we survive we will be bumping up the difficulty and like i said we have three lives so as soon as we die the third time this series will be over or if we complete the insane horde on day 35, then that will be the end of this series as well. All these um, series are just mini series, so they're just not meant to last a crazy long time, but just a little fun challenge um, for you guys and for me. 
But anyways, guys, I hope you guys like this video. If you like the video, please let me know. And then down in the comments, guys, give me some more ideas for the horde base. So I'm trying to figure out, like I said, it's functioning. It's ready to go technically. I also need to add a little bit uh, or like a way for the dogs to get up. So I haven't forgot about that. And that's why I said I need to make sure I, I work on the horde as well, or horde base as well tomorrow. So I'll be working on that. Um, give me some ideas to on how to incorporate the the, the doors. And DP, if you're watching, if you have any ideas based off of what you saw today, let me know. And then anybody else in the comments, let me know any, any suggestions you have to the base. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and then I'll be imp implement that when I make the next episode. But anyways, guys, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing as it really does help me out. We're almost to that 450 goal, guys. Help me get there. I need five more subscribers at 445 currently as of this video. I hope we can get there soon so that we can go ahead and open up that Discord. I'd love to be able to talk to you guys, and that's my goal for that, so help me get there, guys. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.